Hey guys, welcome to our five minute workout. Today we are doing a push pull workout using kneeling footwork and reverse knee stretches. So I'm using one heavy, one red spring, and I'm gonna come onto the carriage on my knees. My hands are against the shoulder rest here so they don't slip forward. My support knee is all the way at the back of the carriage and my heel is on the foot bar in line with my sit bow. I'm gonna push out and come back in. Exhale, press away, inhale to return. I'm pushing right to the center of the heel and coming back in, keeping the shoulders right back of the hands. So not directly over the hands, just a little bit behind the hands. More weight on the leg than on the upper body. And let's do two more here and one more. And then I'm just gonna switch to the ball of the foot. So we're gonna go onto the toes here, high half toe, heel lifted. I'm gonna press out, lower and lift, and come back in. I inhale to press, exhale reach the heel above the bar, inhale to point, and exhale to return. Make sure that you're not starting to creep forward with your shoulders. Keep them behind the hands, not directly over. And if you do have them directly over, you're gonna know what I mean, it's a lot of shoulder work. We want to try to keep some of the work in the legs here. So you're going to shift back onto that back knee a little bit. Let's do one more here. Press, lower left, and return. Now, match where the knee is on the other side. Put your heel on the foot bar, and let's do the opposite side. Press out and return. Now, some of you can go up and spring here, but I'm going to keep it there for a nice smooth transition into our next series. Pressing out and coming back in, try to push to the center of the heel and keep the hips square and press and press. Are you feeling the shoulder work yet? Now we're gonna switch to the toes, lift the heel, press out, lower, lift, and return. Press, lower, lift and return. Now some people may put the box on and put your forearms on the box if you've got some wrist issues. And let's do it a couple more times. Press, lower, lift, and one more time. Inhale out. Exhale, lower that heel. Lift it back up and return. Easy transition. You're going to come forward and bring your knees against the shoulder rest and put your hands on the rails. And guys, I'm gonna begin with my hands way forward of my shoulders and my hips right above my knees so that I can actually pull with my arms. This is giving us a nice release from all the delt work that we just did because now we're working our lats. Pull and return. Let's just do four more. Don't pull with your legs, keep your legs stable. Pull, move with your arms. Two, nice straight elbows and in. All right, now all I'm gonna do is bring my hands back a hair and I'm gonna shift forward so that my knees are behind my hips and my shoulders are over my hands. Then I tuck the knees under and back. So this is our pull with the legs, two. That's it, keep the shoulders out of the ears, three. Keep the spine as long as possible, four. And Five. Now, let's get a little fancy. We're going to lift one leg as we pull the other and switch. Two. And exhale. Try not to pull forward with the arms. Keep the arms where they are. Pull with the legs and return with the legs. And pull. And exhale. Pull. And pull. And pull. One more. Pull. And return for a second. Sit back. Reach forward. Get a good stretch there. Come on up, you're gonna flex the spine and lengthen it. Sit back one more time, hands to one side, hips to the other. Switch over, get a good stretch and come back to center. Guys, that's our five minute workout for today. Thanks for joining me and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye, buddy.